There's the Great South Run happening over there. Close all the roads. There's a lot of traffic on the road today. Good luck to everyone who is running that. Good morning. Welcome to the vlog. Sorry there wasn't one last week. I was a bit ill, full of flu, just not. I didn't have much going on either, so I didn't really feel like doing one. Uh, another shaky vlog this week. We're off to Twickenham uh, to go and watch the uh, Arizona Cardinals play the Los Angeles Rams. Very excited. Hopefully, this will be the best game out of the four that have come to London. Um, Cardinals just signed Adrian Peterson, who last week exploded, um, giving them sort of like a new breath of life to their team. And the Rams, with Sean McVay as their new head coach, uh, just working wonders. Jared Goff as well as their quarterback. It's going to be an interesting day. I'm hoping it's not going to be like the other two games were. Um, but now I'm on my way to the train station. There's a the train track to go and see Ed and then head to a Premier Inn. We have arrived into Victoria. Ed's got his food. He's very happy. He's a happy Ed. With, apparently it's really hot. So we're going to get the tube to Hangar Lanes. We're going to go to check in our hotel and then we are off to see Wayne and go to Twickenham. When you come to a hotel, the first thing you do is test the beds out. Ah! <laughs> Always. That's an amazing view. That? <laughs> I was actually expecting like traffic. <laughs> it's not traffic. Not even swimming. You could put a swimming pool there and then make more money. Well, when it rains, you know. Oh, great. Yeah, because like, oh, there is a sort of drain. Go and get a stop so we can stop the drain, then we'll have our own swimming pool. Fine. It's a bit dirty, isn't it? Green and stuff. It's Ed's day today, he's supporting the Cardinals who are playing, so he's gone all out. He's got a jersey, he's got a shirt underneath, and he's got a flat cap, he's got some diamond rings, he's got some shoes. Look, the arrow. Yeah, yeah, they're not really. Boom. <laughs> boom. The lighting in here is awful for filming. You should see the Cardinals drop trap he has on. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> it's actually a bird head. So comfortable. Just comfortable. Just <laughs> so comfortable. <laughs> oh, the problem is, uh, Wayne had to help me put it on. And you know, what, friends, well, what are friends for? Friends, what yeah. are friends for? Ah, oh, the tube. The London Underground. Look at how overground you are. This is what I love about going... It's basically a big event day, but this is where we start seeing the, the jerseys. We're, uh, where are we? We're at Richmond. And that's a packed train. Right? I'm not getting on that one. So we made it to Twickenham. When I say made it, what I mean is we made it. We lost Wayne. Where's Wayne? Wayne is, uh, we, lost, Wayne? we lost him at Richmond because this lot here <laughs> on one train was just ridiculous too much. So uh, Wayne's gone to get an Uber. So we'll meet him there soon. All part of it. We've arrived now. Here's a Gaz. Hi yeah. Gaz, welcome. And. Oh, it is a VIP party. This is a VIP party. That's where all the players are at the moment on this bus. Uh, we lost Wayne still. Don't know where he is. He's gone. But uh, the three amigos are here. And uh, so we're going up this road uh, to Twickenham to go and uh, go and watch the Cardinals at the Rams. I'm still, I'm fairly confident the Ca Cardinals might just get it. I don't want to make any bold claims before they play though, because as we know in previous a videos, claim to me. <laughs> not a bold claim really, but I don't want to make any statements or I don't want to, no, predictions is the word, I don't want to make any predictions before they play. As we know, the past two games I've predicted have been completely wrong, so uh, maybe I should say the Rams will win. So it'll be a draw and then we'll get a winner. It's going to go to overtime and it'll be a draw, there you go. <laughs> so we've arrived in Twickenham, uh, we're a bit late, the tailgate is closed, so we're just going to head in and find Wayne. I think is an E. Oh, look at that shot. JJ Abrams. Here we go. It's a nice looking stadium. Not as nice and impressive as Wembley, though, sadly. Oh, is that cool? Oh, have we just missed the tailgate completely. Oh, we missed it. Oh, we've missed it completely. Okay. Is that the entrance? This is like the entrance. We need to go to the other one over there, E. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Depends what side he's on. You see him. Hey. There he is. There he is. Hello. 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 I was like, we could just give you a ticket earlier and then let you in, but that's fine. Nah, that's all good. Here you, before you guys. Yeah. Shall we go in? Shall we? Shall Into we? gate E. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Come in. You don't need anything. Hug? Yeah, yeah, go on, go on, go on, go on. Have a good one. Got a hug. Did you get a hug when you came in? No. I got a hug. I don't know if this is the right one. I'm just following Ed. I hope so. I hope so. I've got lost. We're just literally following Ed, hoping for the best. <laughs> and we're going to go all these many stairs. Absolutely packed again. Which is good to see, I think. Oh, we know where the food and drinks are then. I'll tell you, whilst we're going upstairs, um, the games next year, there may be five coming to the UK, uh, and the fifth may be played at the new Tottenham Spurs Stadium, hopefully, as well as Twickenham and Wembley. So we'll see how that goes. So what did you get? You got Pepsi Max and you got a Bournemouth. How much did that cost you? Seven pounds something. For both? For both. Okay. Not too bad. Not, well, it's not too bad. 50 feet cheaper and I got a Bud Light with this NFL mug. Fan yeah. mug. What did you get? Got a pint of beer in it. What, what beer did you get? Bud Light. Bud Light. 650? Yeah. So 6 you get a quid if you return the cup. Oh, do you? Um, I want to keep the mug cup though. So. Then it's going to cost you 650 for a pint, my friend. I'm going to keep that and I'll bring it next time and then I'll return it. So we're going to go in, uh, we're row E, and we're in U35, which is good. And we're row E. Wow. This is that movement I love every time you come to a stadium. Oh, wow. Well, we're closer this time. And is this us here? We got flags. Yes. Rams flags. We've lost the gas, we've put the beard out. Flag. I hope these are like proper flags and not foil like last time. They are, yeah, you can see you've got, lo lo you got a logo on them. Yes. Oh, it's a bit colder today. It's a little nippy. It's a bit windy. Good to be back though. Yeah. When's the last time you were here? Uh, so I play. I didn't play here, but we came here three times. We almost played here. I used to play rugby. Um, Probably 2010 I was here, maybe 20, no, 2009. Anything changed? Yeah, they got a stadium this time. It, no, so basically, this part here, yeah. that was all under construction last time we came. Really? Yeah, 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 it was half built. So basically, we had half, yeah, half a stadium last time. So those seats were a different colour over there. Oh yeah. Slightly different colour. Probably because they're newer. Maybe, yeah. So we're currently watching the cheerleaders for the Rams. What's caught my eye more? The Royal Marines marching band from Portsmouth for here. The Los Angeles Rams cheerleaders! Nice. 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 Ha <laughs> ha 
Dave, I'm not going to film that, so there's Ed. Who, how are you feeling, by the way, so far? Yeah. <laughs> That's a good description. We'll see how it goes. We have a half-time update and a third quarter update as well on the way. So we forgot to do a half-time update, but Ed's here, and the score in the third quarter currently is nothing to the Cardinals and 26 to the Rams. Ed, how's it going? Is this the result you wanted? This is, this, you know, this is why I paid good money to come here today. <laughs> so I know how it's, how it is to feel like Wayne. What is it? Four weeks ago? Yeah. How does that feel, Wayne? Still bad. How are you feeling about today's game? Bad for Ed. Good for me. He's <laughs> got a good fancy team for the Rams, and they are uh, doing lots of interceptions. Going good. Oh. As night has fallen, the time has come, and the game ends. Neil Cobb. Wow. 0.33. 0.33. Did you like say to the 
Hello, can you please just make sure you don't score any? Yeah, a special request for me. It was a special request for me. Well, I, want, I didn't want them to win this game. I don't want them to look too good. Did you say, uh, what's what the Dolphins did when they came yeah, to... Yeah, yeah, but do worse. Worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> do even worse than the Dolphins. <laughs> Oh my god. I was quite annoyed about the Dolphins losing to nothing, but this week it's just getting, it's getting comical. This was supposed to be the game that was going to be close. And it wasn't. Again. We're going to leave now. So that was terrible. Again, another game that's washed out. Ed's upset. Wayne's no, upset. Not, upset. Yeah, they're why. really upset because both of their teams came over here and both lost. Seahawks next year. Seahawks don't come over please just stay stay playing in America where it's great don't come to the UK any other team can come I'm happily watch and support them I don't know why this has happened again three in a row to be fair our matchups over here this year haven't been fantastic next week we've got the Vikings at the Browns and that's probably going to be a washout as well, based on the track record. Although today, the Browns went to overtime. So, who knows? We'll see what happens next week. Uh, Trickenham was good. Uh, my advice is, it's a lot colder here than it is at Wembley. Um, mainly because it's probably a later match. But it just feels a lot colder today. So, wrap up would be my idea. Would, would be my suggestion. Although, to be fair, I didn't bring a coat this time. So, uh, probably my own fault. Right, that's it from me today. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you like the video, uh, give it a like. Uh, if you like uh, the channel, subscribe to see my future stuff. And I will see you next week. Vikings and the Browns.